people, I'm going to show you how to make a margarita from scratch down here at Charing Cross Station, a food busker. <laughs> So the first thing, we need to sieve one kilo of strong white flour. I'm cooking on the street, so I haven't got a sieve. So just imagine there's one here. Sieve, I'm sieving it. That's a kilo. A teaspoon of salt. Mix that in and create a well in the middle. 650 mils of warm water. We need 14 grams of active yeast. Four tablespoons of olive oil. And now incorporate all those ingredients. Operation into the nation. Leave that for about five minutes to get to know each other. So now we've rested our liquor and we're going to gradually add this into the well and just bring the mixture together. Now move your hand in. What you're doing now is you're kneading it. Just keep pushing it, pulling it back on itself, stretching it out, moving it around. Okay, so that's what you're looking for. That beautiful dough, it's got a bit of a spring to it. Take your finger and you push it in and it bounces back. Get yourself a bowl. We're just going to very lightly oil it. Just spread it all around the bowl. And take your dough and drop it in. And then warm damp cloth onto the top. And then we're going to go put this in a warm room to prove. Now, I ain't got a warm room, so I'm going to go put it somewhere in the sun. And in about 45 minutes, that will have doubled in size, proved up, and be ready to break down into dough balls. OK, simple tomato sauce, pan on. Good glug of olive oil. I want one tablespoon of pre-prepped garlic straight into a hot pan. OK, now we need some basil, about that much. Right, you can see it's just colouring. Now tear in the basil. And now we're adding 350 grams of passata. That's blitzed down tomato. Right, OK, so that's been going for about six or seven minutes. So it needs seasoning. Needs a good pinch of salt. Needs a lot of freshly cracked pepper. OK, let's add that in. Done. OK, so that's proved nicely. First, let's just get some flour onto the board. Knock the dough out. We're essentially just knocking it back. And then what I'm going to do is, is that I'm just going to take a dough ball off, bring that around, and turn it into a nice, tight little dough ball. That's one. And then same again, just pull one out. And then that's a beautiful little dough ball. It's got that bounce that we're looking for still. And now I'm just going to let those prove for about 10 or 15 minutes. They'll just come up a bit more, and then we'll start making our pizzas. Right, so these have proved up nicely. So I'm going to get this little guy, drop him down there, take your rolling pin, bit of flour, roll, twist. And what you do is, is you keep making sure that there's flour on the top, on the rolling pin, and underneath. That's how you get a circle. That's that done. Now let's get our tomato on there. Let's get it on very thinly onto the pizza. So I've got these little balls of buffalo mozzarella. I'm just going to tear pieces off and place it on. Just try and make sure that the, the cheese is about the same thickness. Most important thing is when you're making pizza is less is more. Put too much on, it gets soggy, it's not crispy, it's not delicious. So hold back. I'm going to put some oregano on there, some fresh stuff. If you've got dried, that's fine. And then the other herb that I want on there is fresh basil. Right, so I'm just going to get this onto my pizza paddle. Just a little bit of flour on there so it doesn't stick. Lift it up and get it on. And just leave it right on the end, because you're going to dump it into the pincer oven and you want it to catch at the bottom there. So salt and pepper. And then some olive oil. Margarita done, let's get it in the oven. Drop it in, it's going to take about three to four minutes. Right, now look at that little beauty. That's the best fast food you can make. Okay, boys and girls, that's my margarita pizza. Come here. I reckon it's worth, look, it's a margarita, five quid, right? Let's see what people will pay. Matan, is that right? Matan, yeah, that's okay, right. he came all the way from Israel with his beautiful girlfriend. They're here. Yeah. Food Bus Club subscribers. Margarita pizza, are you ready? Very Take ready. a slice. Thank you very much. It's good, tasty. 
Good. Tastes like a margarita pizza? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, we're halfway there. Now, you know how it works, right? I'm a food busker, I cook on the street, I ask people to tell me what they would pay for it. So guys, what would you pay for a full margarita pizza? Four one. Nine, ten for it. <laughs> ten. 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 Nine or ten. ten. Two nil, people, two nil. How tall are you? Six four. Six Nearly four. Six, five. I hope this doesn't turn nasty. Yeah, Tastes good. like a pizza? Yeah. Do you need a hug? No. How much would you pay for a full margarita pizza? Probably five pounds. Five pounds. Take. Three nil, brothers and sisters. Um, You're Italian. Oh no. Okay, margarita. Yeah. Can you try. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. You bring me home to your mother. <laughs> no. Not that good. No. I'm just asking, all right. What would you yeah, pay for a full uh, margarita pizza? She said nine euros, so... Come on, nine euros is easily five pounds. <laughs> now, can we get mum to try it? This is the big test. Okay, okay. The pasta is very good. Come on, mum, come on. Oh. <laughs> yes! Five nil from the margarita pizza and got the Italian seal of approval down here at Charing Cross Market. People. Let me know what you would have paid. Subscribe.